quiet. You're embarrassing me. You're embarrassed. I've been shaved in two weeks. <laughs> Don't feel bad. Neither have I. <laughs> well, why are you guys even here? You're gay. Wow, way to exclude us, Darla. What's next? A sign that says no fags allowed in the school cafeteria? Okay, well that's a huge jump. No, it's just that if you guys are gay, how are you gonna... with our wives? I mean, it's called flashback to high school, Dwight. <laughs> <laughs> you just close your eyes and think of Justin Timberlake. <laughs> Janice. She's from the city. They do this kind of thing there all the time. Well, just because she's the PTA president doesn't mean she gets to dictate our sex lives. Darla, shh. We're going to get blacklisted. Be quiet. Don't you remember how she cut out the Thompsons after they wouldn't volunteer for movie night? They, their kids couldn't even get into chess club. They had to move. And now they're at Manor Hill. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's for the children. Oh, having awkward sex with PTA parents is for the children? <laughs> Well, I know I wouldn't want Janice to think we aren't cool. I mean, you should have seen me in college. I once slept with an entire baseball team. Mmm, go girl. <laughs> well, I'm sure you guys are used to this kind of thing. Excuse you? Well, I'm just saying because you're from the city. Your shoes are from the city. Look, look. Why don't we just put it on Snapchat? We'll say we did it, and then, and then nobody's the wiser. Uh, no, because I'm not a liar. Gary, <laughs> did you ever stop to think that if we do this, one of us is gonna have to have sex with a man? I've done it before. What? <laughs> Relax. Sexuality is a spectrum. Well, if you're all on board with this, Gary, why don't you take Kevin's keys, Louise? Jackson and Dwight and I will end up together. That sounds great. Let's do it. Go team. All right. Cool. As long as it's dicks, not chicks. <laughs> Darla, you're not going to tell Kevin that you have sex with him. You know, I understand how sleeping with a man outside the bounds of matrimony is weird and gross. Thank you. Finally, someone gets it. Uh, maybe, <coughs> maybe we should open it up. You know. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? <laughs> I'm just saying it doesn't have to be man, man, or man, woman. We could be feminists and tend to each other's gardens. <laughs> I'm sorry, Louise. This is not college, and I'm not your foreign exchange roommate, Emily. <laughs> <laughs> now, wait a minute, uh, Darla. I am willing to sleep with a woman for the first time since junior prom, and it's probably going to be just as devastating. <laughs> But if I am willing to go outside of my comfort zone, why aren't you? Yeah, come on, Darla. This is supposed to be a fun night. Dwight, do you want to sleep with Jackson? I don't want to sleep with anybody here. Um, hello, your wife is right there. Right. <laughs> All right, well, if you must know, Dwight is asexual. And yes, that really is a thing. That's hot. Gary, this isn't about you. Does Dwight like to wash, at least? Um, you guys, if we're gonna do this, I'm, I'm gonna need time to get ready because we only have the babysitter until 9 30. Okay, we need to get focused and remember who we're doing this for. It's for the kids! Alright! For the goddamn children! You know what? Can I sleep with my stupid husband? Gary, you're making me your bisexual ass in the guest bathroom! Great night! Later on, when we swap partners, I just want you to know that my safe word, it's Kofefe. <laughs> 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 <laughs>